It is such a dangerous, dusty day on I-10. The road is closed from U.S. 191 exit all the way to the New Mexico border. That is running drivers in both directions on a 120-mile detour between Safford and Lordsburg, New Mexico. We have team coverage on these high winds. Wind gusts causing this mess. Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen is standing by with a red flag warning. But we begin with Nine Your Sides, Craig Smith, live where the dust is kicking up and the traffic is just piling up. Craig. Well, according to ADOT, about 23,000 cars per day go through this section of I 10 cars and trucks, and a good share of them is passing through here right now. They are being forced off I 10, heading up US 191 towards the Safford area where they're going to take a long circuitous route away from all the dust and back down into New Mexico. Now, if you've got any doubt as to just how severe this dust is, have a look at the video we're going to show you right now. We drove through the dust in a DPS cruiser with Trooper Cameron Lee at the wheel. We were in a total brownout in a matter of seconds. We're going to start to enter this dust cloud right now. Um, I'm going to have to slow down here to about 20 miles an hour. So we can make sure we do this safely. Now I'm looking at, at, at just the stripes. We're only seeing about three of the dotted stripes ahead of us. It's that thick. Yeah, and here we go right now. You know, I, I'm down to about 20 miles an hour, and uh, we have 10, 15 feet of visibility in front of my vehicle. Conditions like this led to an accident and closure on April 26th and a crash that destroyed a trooper's car on Thursday of last week. He was out of the car and unhurt. Last Saturday, dust prompted ADOT and DPS to close I-10 twice. Then it was closed last night and today. Traffic headed east has been forced off at US-191. Drivers headed to and from New Mexico have had to swing through Safford, where gas stations like Leanne Irvin's have been... Total chaos. <laughs> Everybody's wanting to go to the bathroom. They don't know where they're at. They want to get back to what uh, I-10. They're totally lost on some of the people. All right. Sound like a plan? Good luck, guys. Thanks. DPS and ADOT say dangerous dust like this can come up so fast they will not hesitate to close the road again. And because that dust can come up so quickly, there is a chance that you could still get still get caught. So here's the safety message that ADOT and DPS really want us to convey. If you cannot see and there's no way to exit I-10 or the road where you're on, whatever it is, pull as far off the road as you can, really a little farther than we managed in this case, and you want to go completely dark, you would think you'd want your lights on, but you really don't. You want to get turn all your lights off, don't turn the flashers on, and even take your foot off the brake because you don't want the brake lights to light up. And the reason for that is the dust will mess with the perspective of other drivers so severely, they will think you're still on the road and they could follow you right off to where you're parked and hit you right where you are. And that's gonna be bad news for everybody. So keep that advice, stay safe, be aware of traffic and dust problems and watch us at, watch us at six where we're gonna have more detail on how things are going. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGUN 9 on your side. Good advice, Craig. To